Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to the School of Radiance podcast. Let's catch up a little bit. I haven't done a solo episode in a, a while here, and there are some really good reasons why. And in today's episode, I wanted to focus on fall skin tips with different changes of seasons and also changes in life and life seasons. Sometimes there are some requirements to do what we need to do in order to grow and stay on track. So I'm happy to report that things are great in my life and have been really focusing on the School of Radiance membership, creating new content in there, learning lots of new things in my life as well on the personal development side of things. But the reason for today's episode is really to highlight the importance of this next transition that we're going into, which is the fall season. Now, behind the scenes, I've been doing some really neat work with a couple of different companies. As many of you know, I'm a double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist, and I've been a teacher and trainer for other doctors, nurses, and med spots for a number of years. And I've been doing a lot more training and actually really getting up to speed with what's going on, what's the latest and greatest technology out there for skin rejuvenation and skin renewal. The fall season truly is known as laser skin rejuvenation season in the medical aesthetics world, which I've been a part of since 2011 and started teaching other practitioners in about 2017, 2018, as well as online here with teaching you the various different skin tips and things that we can do at home and what to do in the clinic. So with the fall season, we just, you know, moved through summer. I had a great summer, loved being outside, getting that grounding in, that sunshine on my body. And with the fall, this is the time of year to really undo some of that sun damage. And sun damage presents itself on the skin by way of sunspots or age spots, fine lines, wrinkles. Maybe if you've had any acne, those acne scars are a little bit more red and pigmented. Maybe there's been some post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Also maybe some melasma. So these are like patches of more melanin in the skin, which do creep up every single spring and summer if you have a propensity to have this like deposit of melanin in a patch somewhere on your face. There's definitely some things that we can do for that, as well as the fine lines and wrinkles from a little bit of loss of collagen and elastin from the sun because the sun does unfortunately negatively impact the skin in regards to aging of the skin. But I am a huge fan of sun exposure, but I'm also a huge fan of making sure that on the face, the neck, the chest, the hands, the high real estate areas, that you are daily applying your skincare and your sunscreen. And then in the evening, maybe doing some things like your retinols, peels, dermal rolling, and then of course, doing some in-clinic stuff. So the whole purpose of today's episode here on the show is to really get you excited about laser skin rejuvenation season and some of the things that you can start to do now to fade some of that pigmentation, to promote more collagen and elastin, fade some of that melasma and red acne scarring, and to not forget about the really key thing here, to not forget about the rest of your body as well. The skin is the largest organ. It covers our entire body. And we tend to just focus on what we see in the mirror, which is on the face. But what about the arms? What about the back? What about the stomach? What about the legs? Because as we hit age 50 to 60, we really do start to see changes with how the skin on our inner arms look, as well as to the elbows and the knees. So what we do at home and what we do in the clinic is equally as important. Now, here's the interesting part. When you are consistent with your skincare, with your essential routine, so cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen, scrub, add the eye cream in there, add the neck cream in there in the evening, and then start to add some of the more advanced layers, like what I mentioned before, peels, retinols, dermal rolling, and even other at-home modalities that that I teach specifically in tutorials, these are going to save you time and money. Since I started in the industry in 2011, I would say when I integrated more of the biohacking and longevity side of things, dating back to about 2017, 
over the last few years, I have noticed that I've been able to get away with far less in clinic rejuvenation. Now, my fellow providers probably don't want to hear me saying that, but it is true. I used to have to do injectables every couple months, lasers once a month for red acne scarring. And now it's like probably 90% home care, 10% skincare when it was previously maybe like 40% home care, 60% in clinic. So I'm here to tell you that as a practitioner, it is possible to really ramp up your home care and your lifestyle to set you up for success for more longevity with your beauty and looking younger. Now with the rejuvenation side of things, there is a time and a place, but for this fall season, what you can start to do now is to kind of do the heavy lifting at home with your essential skincare routine. And then maybe in the next month or two, start to add some in-clinic lasers once your tan has started to fade and maybe even pre-addressing things like melasma with different topicals. We have hydroquinone available for brightening. You could do some brightening with dermal rolling. I also have a couple nutraceuticals on my skin shop that do help with basically helping have a more even distribution of melanin in the skin. So now the question is, well, what do I actually do at home based on what my specific needs are? With the one-on-ones, just an FYI, my schedule and availability for one-on-one calls has changed. If you haven't booked a one-on-one, now is definitely the time to do it. And you can do that over on my website, theschoolofradiance.com. But the fall tutorials are definitely the place to be because I've been learning so much behind the scenes as a practitioner myself, getting up to speed so I can teach the latest and greatest for doctors, nurses, and clinic owners across the globe. This is really, this fall tutorial is actually going to be the best one yet. I've been teaching these seasonal tutorials since, oh gosh, I think about 2018 now. And every time I teach them every season, they're live. And the longevity and the biohacking side of things in regards to anti-aging, slowing aging, and really just helping you look and feel your best. This is going to be the best one yet because I am going to be adding some body composition tips as well. My body has totally changed over the last few months with some, some key things that I'm doing behind the scenes with detoxing, with fitness, as well as nutrition. So I am going to be adding to the biohacking lesson, which is pretty extensive. We cover air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, different things to clear out nutrition through different testing that's available. But I am going to be adding this layer into the tutorials. The other component here is, I, before I go on to the next thing, I just want to emphasize why reducing oxidative stress is so important for the skin. If you are experiencing things like more skin redness, more skin dryness, we're going to be inside a little bit more moving forward. So there's a little bit more indoor heating, especially if you live somewhere where you experience all four seasons, you are going to very likely experience more skin dryness and just sort of sensitive skin in general. The fall season is a great time to actually tweak your skincare a little bit to maybe use a richer moisturizer during the day, as opposed to spring summer where you maybe use a lighter moisturizer during the day and a richer one at night. I am in the final stages of launching my own skincare. This stuff is totally cutting edge. The antioxidants I'm using, the silver ions that I'm using as a preservative instead of preservatives is a huge deal. These are small batch made to order. They're not sitting on a shelf in plastic for six months to two years, which most products are doing. This is pretty, pretty neat stuff. And I'm just really grateful and shout out to the chemist that I'm working with. One of the nerdiest people I've ever met in my life, definitely more nerdy than I am. Uh, and him and his partner, his, his wife also comes from a family of scientists as well. So these are some pretty high level scientists and chemists that I'm working with on my skincare line, which I'm just beyond excited about. 
It's going to be a full range from cleansers to moisturizers to serums to hyaluronic acid serums. This is exciting stuff coming. So stay tuned. Thank you so much for your patience and support and cheering me on behind the scenes. I've been doing a lot behind the scenes to get this rocking and rolling. It takes a little bit more effort and strategy than you probably realize to do this right, but it is coming. The lifestyle component is so incredibly key though, especially with some of the things that I've been doing over the last couple of months with a specific diet nutrition plan I've been following for the last nine months, the physical fitness changes, the energy changes, the mental focus and acuity, clarity, but the, the personal development side to long lasting beauty and radiance is profound. Now, the show here is really where I kind of cover sort of more of an overview side of things. So key takeaway here in regards to false skin tips, you're probably going to want to navigate more towards a richer moisturizer and really lean back into doing your dermal rolling, your retinols, your peels at home. And then looking at maybe doing some in-clinic rejuvenation. Of course, that's going to depend on your budget, your lifestyle, what you want to do, what you don't want to do. Because the in-clinic stuff in regards to non-surgical things can include things like, say, for example, Botox and fillers or lasers. Those are considered non-surgical. And not everybody wants to do injectables, and that's totally okay. There are, I actually love the approach of taking a skin health approach for more la longer lasting skin health. This is actually where the med spa industry is going, which I'm very excited about. And I'm helping to perpetuate that within the industry also, uh, based on my oxidative stress status paper that I published last year, which I've been very excited to present a number of times. I continue to do more research for other companies' products as well behind the scenes and uh, write more research papers. Now, when it comes to this thing called radiance, what is radiance? You've heard me say this before. This is kind of like, if I were to explain it without, you know, the Ayurveda definition of radiance, it's a, it's a deeper beauty. And it's a beauty that's going to, you're going to be able to carry this through into your life and actually pass this knowledge on to your kids. So if you're a parent and you're listening to this, obviously cleaning up the skincare act, so that your, your kids aren't buying products off TikTok or Instagram ads or going into places like Sephora, where they're just getting exposed to garbage they don't need, stuff that's way too expensive, and for the most part, quite toxic cosmetics that are going to very likely impact their hormones, especially with the parabens and other preservatives and just the lower quality oils that are being used that are going to increase oxidative stress. There's actually quite a bit of canola oil that I'm seeing in skincare products. I really want you to look at the ingredients of what you're using. I did a consult the other day for a lovely lady and she was using this French product where the serum was like $150 US. And I looked at the ingredients and I think it was like the fourth ingredient was canola oil. There's so many products out there that just have oodles of marketing behind them, but they're really not good formulations. The ingredients list is extensive, but it's not packed with things like antioxidants and peptides and things that are actually going to be good for the body. The other thing I do want to share with my skincare line is the water that I'm utilizing in my products is filtered six times. It's deionized water. And if you look at ingredients on a lot of skincare products, they don't really clarify whether it's tap water or if it's distilled water or if it's deionized. And I'm happy to share that the products I'm creating, the water goes through a filtration process of, of basically six different filtrations which is pretty cool. Like I'm, I'm going all out on my line. I know you wouldn't expect anything less than that. So getting back to sort of this deeper layer of beauty, it is about looking at ourselves in the mirror and being happy with who we see looking back at us. We are all going to age. Death is the only, death and birth are the two only inevitables in this life. It's what we choose to do in between. It's what we choose to do to increase our life satisfaction and live with purpose and make an impact in the world and help one another out, obviously serving ourselves, but also being of service to others. 
And for those who I've supported over the years, I've, I've worked with thousands of patients since 2011. And there are a group of patients of mine over the years, age 60 to 90, that just have this je ne sais quoi. They are, were just a pleasure to be around. I'm sure they had signs of aging, pigmentation, fine lines, skin laxity, hooding to the eyelids, you know, experiencing the shifts with energy and hormones, especially with perimenopause, menopause, and postmenopause. But there was something different about them, something very different that was kind of magnetic, and their lives were just better. And that's really what the membership is all about. It's about those like deeper layers of clarity. <laughs> I think if you were to think about the one thing in your life that you'd probably love to have more of in regards to making decisions and should I do this? Should I do that? What if this happens? What if that happens? Is clarity. I know that's one of the key things that I ask for during things like prayer and meditation is I would love clarity on something. And I would say that one of the best ways to receive clarity and receiving is very feminine is through actually learning more about yourself and how you operate and why you operate in a certain way based on different attachment styles, personality types, your love languages, all these things really do play into you looking and feeling your best because if your needs aren't being met, you're probably going to be a little bit more unhappy. You're probably going to be a little bit less satisfied in regards to what you're achieving. You're kind of grabbing for the next thing in your relationships, in your workplace, with different people and situations around you. But once you understand more about how you operate behind the scenes, not to mention clear out oxidative stress, inflammation, parasites, yeast, fungi, mold, exposure to heavy metals and all sorts of things and all that, you become more clear yourself. So the clearer you are, the healthier you are, the less under stress your physical form is, the better you can operate, the better your brain's going to function. You're going to be able to form more coherent sentences and actually be able to tune into yourself with what you need and what your boundaries are and what's really valuable to you in life. And of course, we all want to look beautiful. All of us, I don't think you could come across a single person who says that they don't care how they look, because honestly, if someone were to care for themselves, of course, they're going to care how they look. If they care about themselves, they're going to care about their weight. They're going to care about their body composition. They're going to care about what they choose to put on and in their body through their eyes and in their ears, as well as who they choose to be around and what and who they allow in or near their heart. So the key element here of really looking and feeling our best is absolutely taking care of the physical form, but also the mind, also spiritually and energetically. These things all really play into one another. And the more clear you are, the better you feel about yourself, the more confident and happy you are with the way that you look, I would beg to question the better able you're going to be to set an example and lead and also be in the position to have better families, be a better spouse, be a better partner, be a better mother or father, be a better kid, be a better sibling, be a better, you know, work associate, be a better friend, all these things. So truly confidence comes from looking after yourself and operating from integrity. It's, it's actually pretty simple. When you're making good life choices and you're operating out of integrity, you're going to have more confidence, which I think is a really great framework to look at that. Because at the end of the day, when we look at ourselves in the mirror and we like who and what we're seeing looking back at us, I feel like that is something that's quite admirable to aspire to. So if you're kind of struggling with this stuff, like, ah, uh, you know, spending money on skincare, spending money on rejuvenation, spending time and money learning about different things that are going to help me look and feel better. It's kind of vain. I feel like I should be spending that money and time on different things. I would beg to question the more you know yourself, the better you care for yourself, the better impact you're going to make 
and the better servant you're going to be for those around you who you love and to live your life's purpose. And you're going to know that you've been making good decisions and that's going to build your confidence. It all kind of works together, if you will. Looking great and feeling great are not separate. I would say that the better you feel, the better you're going to look. And also the better you look, the better you're going to feel. They're not separate. And in fact, they go hand in hand, which is why you're probably like, oh, you know, Rachel, this aesthetic nurse talks about skincare and rejuvenation, but she also talks about you know, detoxing and biohacking and personal development and masculine and feminine dynamics and spirituality and energy and physics and all this stuff. Like it's all part of it. <laughs> we are not just a physical person. We are an energetic person. We give off this really cool, um, what's called biofield. And the, the area of study of biofield science is a quickly emerging field of science that's a little bit more recognized in Europe than it is here in North America. But I do have a piece of technology in my biohacking room that can actually measure, measure your human biofield. So there's so much that we can see in regards to our skin, our hair, our nails, our body composition, but there's also things that we feel. And the better you know yourself, the better you're going to be able to feel out different people and situations and what's going to be the best kind of situation and people to be around then things that are going to be good for you are going to make you feel better. If something you're doing or people you're around are not making you feel better, then you need to uh, really evaluate that and identify maybe why that is. So the membership is really where I go deep into that stuff. Just an FYI, it's the stuff I don't want to talk about publicly because I don't feel comfortable or safe to, but it's the stuff that really matters that contributes to deeper, longer lasting beauty. Now, when it comes to fall skin tips, I warmly invite you all to register for my fall tutorials because over the next seven weeks, I'm going to teach you how to become your own skin pro and master your at-home skincare with your essential routines, as well as more basic things like peels, retinols, dermal rolling. We're going to talk about longevity, biohacking, anti-aging lifestyle practices. We're going to talk a little bit more about body composition and fitness, and then in seven weeks, you're going to become your own skin pro because you really do need to take ownership of how you are caring for the largest organ of your body and setting yourself up for success and making the necessary tweaks that can be advantageous to do every season. And with the fall, this is laser skin rejuvenation season. I love to use technology to help my skin look better. I've had probably three or four different um, skin treatments myself recently and um, very excited to share what those are only in the tutorials because that's where we focus on the at home and in clinic stuff in seven weeks you're going to become your own skin pro with my latest updated information and research to share with you all and then you're going to take this into the rest of your life so join now the fall skin tutorial fun over at the school of radiance.com. Send me an email if you have any questions or if you have any podcast topic requests over at info at the school of radiance.com. But I'm really excited that you're here. I'm excited that you've kind of stumbled on the information here that I share. It's very much about having a very positive body image, but it's not about kind of putting your head in the sand and you shouldn't really, how do I put this lightly? If you're not looking after your body, I would say you're probably not feeling very happy with your body, but you just might not know how to make certain adjustments in a way that's going to work for you and isn't going to be too intense all at once, but also sort of like what to do, because it's, it, there's this concept of you don't know until you know. And it's really my sort of like angle to highlight what some of those things are with a little bit of tough love, you know, as a teacher here, as a teacher, you're never done learning. As a student, you cross the finish line and you write the exam. But for a teacher, it's a whole different situation. So this fall tutorial is going to be the best tutorial I've ever taught. I'm really excited to have you join. 
So register for fall tutorials at theschoolofradiance.com. If you've done a couple tutorials in the past and you are one of those individuals who keep registering for every seasonal tutorial I do, there is a Glow 365 option, which basically you pay for two and a half tutorials and get one and a half tutorials for free over the year. You get access to all past tutorials and all upcoming future tutorials. And these lessons are live and the replays are available. And what I've heard over the years is especially for the dermal rolling lesson or the skin cycling lesson with peels and retinols, individuals are going back to those lessons and actually rewatching them anywhere from one to three times again, until you become your own skin pro, because there's really only so much information that you can handle and integrate at a time. So that's why that container is so great. We really focus on exactly how to use your products, the how to, the what, the why, behind product use, behind rejuvenation, behind biohacking. That is really the intention of the tutorials is how to put the icing on the cake, if you will, and what icing is going to be the best to put on the cake. So I look forward to seeing a number of you there and stay tuned here on the School of Radiance podcast for more information. I am going to be getting back into some solo lessons here and I have received a number of podcast topic requests from many of you. So I'm going to be going through those and I would just continue to love to hear from you. Uh, what information you're hearing that you'd like to hear more about or maybe less on because the School of Radiance podcast, it's not just a skin show. It's truly about both looking and feeling your best. So if you're listening to something and you're actually getting a little bit triggered by something I'm saying, could be something that's worthwhile for you to continue to lean more into to actually become that more brighter, beautiful, radiant man or woman that you have the capacity to be. It just takes um, a moment of recognition that you are worth it and that you are lovable. And there really are some things that are going to be really uh, an asset for you to know along the way. And then you're going to be going through your own hero's journey, finding the mentors, overcoming the obstacles and reaping the reward. And for me, having experienced the reward of just like this beauty transformation twice now in my life, once after a long fast uh, about two years ago, totally changed the way that my skin shone, my eyes shone, my body composition, my mental clarity. And then again, not too long ago, just a couple of months ago, after just going through so many different life transitions, shifts, toxin exposure, both physical and non-physical, clearing that out to make space for what's on that silver platter. So there's room on the plate to receive those things. And I'm just, it's just super kind of strange to say that beauty was one of those things that I received and a little bit of an upgrade myself too. So if you believe in that stuff, I mean, even if you don't, I'm here to say that I've experienced it and you can see it. If you look back on past content I created even just a year ago to sort of how I am now, how I speak, how I present myself, even just my own facial features, my eyes, my teeth, my skin, my body composition. So if I can experience these shifts, so can you so that you are a better, brighter, happier person who is living a life of purpose and is adding value to your life and to those around you who you love the most. I love you all so much. Have a beautiful high vibe, radiant rest of your day and I look forward to seeing a number of you in fall tutorials, which is happening now. Bye everybody.